going to talk about uh, uh, the genocide uh, case uh, uh, by South Africa against the state of uh, Israel. Uh, this is a historical case. This is uh, nobody uh, actually uh, had uh, uh, the guts to actually uh, uh, put uh, uh, the racist apartheid state of Israel uh, uh, bring them to international uh, uh, law and an uh, international community and follow the law of law since the, uh, the establishment uh, of the state of Israel in 48. Uh, she been out uh, uh, of the international law uh, <coughs> framework. But, you know, she has free hand to do invade, steal, occupy, kill. Uh, wherever uh, uh, civilian citizen suspects uh, turning Gaza to a concentration camp, West Bank, Golan, Golan Heights, South Lebanon, Saina, Rafa, uh, you name it. Uh, it, it. You know, it is really an amazing. There is no country in the history that has uh, uh, impunity and. Uh, uh, and this uh, kind of uh, uh, international uh, uh, international uh, protection from the West and the Americans. Uh, for all these years, the Americans or the West started with England and then France, and, uh, and now everybody else, even the Arab Zionists, are protecting uh, this madness, this mass killing. Uh, so this is all rhetoric, this is all for uh, you know debate and social media and talk shows everybody's uh, gearing for rating and the victims is still falling every minute uh, more than 23,000 killed in the last three months mostly children and uh, women and everybody's talking about the Israelis right to defend itself and the Palestinian just have the right to die to be killed so this is uh, the only time uh, this issue becoming uh, serious and le it's legal issue now in the international court of, court of justice uh, yeah, this is the highest uh, legal uh, entity uh, in the world in, uh, from the united nation and i think the case is as far as solid the ballot most of the people who understand this international law, they think South Africa has a, a, a solid case. Uh, I mean, you're talking about targeting a group of people, Palestinian, a distinctive race, uh, of mass killing them and eliminating them and ethnic cleansing them, uh, dropping 6,000 bombs every day. Uh, so this is an amazing. So. Uh, the case in court now started today and uh, and uh, uh, you know it's kind of uh, it's kind of you know the uh, it's gonna show how how the world works it's gonna expose everybody it's gonna expose this rhetoric from the arab leader and arab zionists about the palestinians since i grew up for the last 60 70 years uh, palestine is palestine and then when it comes to true uh, they are you know, sided with uh, the Zionist project yeah, uh, from the back alley and dark rooms and weird things. So, uh, according to this case, uh, you know, violating Article in an Article 36.1 and 4 of the state statute of the court and Article 38 of the rule of the court, uh, this is uh, the South African uh, judge. I have the honor to submit this application institute proceeding in the name of the Republic of South Africa against the state of Israel. Uh, so pursue the article 41 of the status. The application includes a request that the court indicate provincial measure 